Today's Ask Reddit post. What is something that you're aware of that someone thinks you don't know? Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one. Let's get started. My co-worker was fired for inappropriate intercorseting slash photos with our vulnerable person's clientele. They made him sign an NDA and gave him severance to keep it hush hush. He thinks no one knows. We all know man. We all know. Growing up I worked for my parents doing account and electrical work. One day I got out in a job to do clean and checks at a halfway house slash group home for differently abled individuals. I was 17 at the time. Active and fit. One young woman saw me and followed me around for about 30 minutes and told me back quote you're a hot boy. And then a couple of her house friends joined her and followed me too. It was flattering but very odd because I know that it would be wrong to take any kind of advantage with them. I see your coworker as the guy that had no morals in this situation. That they were invited to our mutual friend's wedding, but I was not. My son thinks I don't know he spends a few hours every night reading in bed after we've gone to sleep. I read somewhere once, I think in r slash madam smile, that a parent kept replacing their kid's reading light battery in secret for years. My mom did this. All the workplace gossip. I keep to myself, so people don't really pay attention and say everything around me. Right. I'm like that too. All people treat me like a therapist and spill the beans quick. I love being trustworthy. That my cousin's husband cheated on her. She knows. But doesn't know I know. Wait. Did he cheat with you? This is what it sounds like for sure. This has applied to numerous friends in the past, unfortunately, but I have a friend right now with a bad drug problem, and he thinks he's fooling everyone, will tell everyone he's too sick to talk or text during the day, but will call slash text at 3am slash 4am to say he's partying and wants to know if anyone wants to join. Not slick at all, bro. Bro is just a night owl that wants to game with his butts nobody ever joins him because they assume he's doing drugs so sad. I'm half deaf and I make sure nearly everyone around me knows this so nobody thinks I'm ignoring them when I'm just not hearing them. The thing about that is a lot of people think I'm a lot more deaf than I actually am. So people often talk about me when I'm nearby and assume I'm not hearing it. And by staying quiet and letting them think that I now know what nearly everyone I know thinks about me. It's helped me figure out who my real friends are quite a few times. My ex-wife won't tell me about her boyfriend. But I see him at the bar occasionally and drink a beer with him. My kid likes him, so no problem for me. I've had similar with my ex actually. She's tried to hide both relationships she's had since we separated in the early days. Even though both of them were around my son within a matter of weeks of the relationship starting and she wouldn't say anything to me for over a month in both cases despite me being very transparent with her about my relationships and their interactions with my son. Despite her very strongly warning me not to let total strangers near out kid. Funny that. Close bracket. Little did she know I was already friends with the first one and he actually asked me about it before they started dating. And I even now regularly see the second out on the town down the pub. I've quite liked both of them to be honest. So has my son. The owner of the store I work at had an affair with the hour manager while he was alive. After he died his wife took over the store and hired the husband of the hour manager to run the store and had an affair with him. Spectacular. The stuff of an HBO miniseries that I would guilty watch. My sister's boyfriend's reddit username. Someone finding out my reddit username is one of my biggest fears lol. I know it doesn't help that I post in regional subreddits and tell stories slash give details that would make it easy for someone who knows me to identify me. But poop. If I'm not caught red handed browsing reddit on my phone out in the open. I can at least always deny it's me. Same poop here. I'm from Germany and I live in the US. People don't ever leave Germany. That is a country that everyone else tries to go to. There are quite literally dozens of us. This makes me stupid easy to find IRL. Slash. 
parents don't know I could hear them almost every night when they would talk about me and how much I was failing to them. Also how I was a lying teenager who also didn't get the good genes talking about my looks. I heard all of it lol. Sounds like you dodged the bad genes in regards to personality. My brother's wife is apparently cheating on him, but eldest brother is one who found out and told me, so he is the one who will bring it to the forefront. He just isn't sure if he is telling her or him. Sucks for everyone involved. And I dread knowing our brother is going to be so heartbroken. This is his wife of 30 years. Is this a tell the wife we know? And if she doesn't tell him we will situation? Mom does not know that I know that she is in cognitive decline. I'm really sorry to hear that. I'm sure she's trying to protect you. Much love from a stranger here to you and your mother. Take care of her and take care of yourself. Peace. Pretty sure the landlord put a camera in the attic space while making a big show of not getting another camera to work. The system uses multiple cameras and they may not know that I know that. We have a raccoon problem and the landlord fixed it, but there is still a problem. I think they think I'm going up there making noise, since they cannot catch any raccoons or find where they are getting in. The other tenants are complaining about the noises. The only access to the attic is in my apartment. I do not go up there anyway, because it is unsafe, and I have balance issues due to health problems. But still. It annoys me that they may have tried to fool me by making a big show of not being able to get a wireless camera to work. Landlords and not fixing things for their tenants. Famous duo. Former friend doesn't know that I caught her trying to cheat on her husband. She and one of her husband's friends were into corseting. Exchanging nudes. Talking about how they wanted to have intercourse, but they had to figure out how to keep it a secret from her husband and his partner. I was using her computer and she didn't realize she left Facebook open while she was messaging him. Is that the reason for the former friend part? Or did she do something specifically to you? She stopped speaking to me because I started dating another guy she'd also made a pass at before. And she and her husband also banned me from their home because they claimed I violated their boundaries. They assumed that any time my ex and I went off to talk privately, we must be having intercourse in their house. I heard my dad talking poop about me with the rest of my family for like 45 minutes when they thought I was sleeping. Hugs to you. This is something both of my parents did well into my adulthood, which also played my brother against me. In the end, they'll never know everything I know. I used to work as a night watchman for decades at a place and had my own set of secret keys that gave me access to practically everything. I would routinely, every night, check my boss's office to check the camera feed to see if there were any new cameras and to see what was going on because my boss would write everything down on a notepad and I would read it. I knew about all kinds of stuff they knew that they did not think I knew about. I even knew ahead of time when they were going to let me go to save money. Ah well. 20 plus years of getting away with all kinds of stuff I did was a halluva run. That's quite the gig to have for that long. I'm also surprised they didn't have a camera pointing to their office door to see who went in there. I know that my cat tries to sneak extra treats when I'm not looking. Greedy little bastards they are. That our manager monitors what we do in real time from his computer and knows that they come in late, leave early, and duck off during the day. That's why they no longer WFH full time. How do you know this? CTRL plus shift plus ESC. My uncle doesn't know that I know that he tried to murder my mom. Craziest part, my mom forgives him and still talks to him pretty often. It happened when they were teenagers. But still, I'd have a hard time forgiving him if I was in her shoes. My parents split up when I was 3 years old in 1999. Also in 1999. The Disney film Tarzan was released along with the Phil Collins song You'll Be In My Heart. When my parents split and I became an anxiety ridden emotional mess. They both individually told me that You'll Be In My Heart was my special song with that parent and that if I got scared I should just play that song. 
their divorce got really nasty and the fight slash dysfunction would be unbearable at points. But they both individually would still, and even today, say that song was my special song with each of them. I've thought about saying something before, but it feels like my own special connection with my family. Broken though it may be. This is such a bittersweet story. A lot of very questionable, some unethical, things each of my managers has done. I really hope you don't work at a daycare, or a nursing home. While I was in middle school our apartment was robbed sometime between my mom leaving for work and me coming home for lunch. About 6 months ago I found out the people who robbed us were my best friend's brother and aunt. My best friend's ex-wife told me this. In hindsight everything that happened leading up to that day should have made it obvious. Funny enough, I hadn't seen this person in 10 years, and when my health started declining I reached out to him to make amends while I could. This was about a year before I found out. I used to live with my ex and her mom. Two times when I got home from work, my ex wasn't home and used the excuse mom sent me on an errand. I saw a text on her mom's phone that said, X, is he there? What do I do? X is mom, well I I told him you went on an errand for me, so you can't come back empty handed otherwise he'll know something. Never thought she'd cheat, or I like that, nor did I think her mom would cover for her. But people will screw you over no matter how well you treat them. Like I said she's my ex now, so I dunno if I should bring it up or just let it go. Either way, I'm done with her. Boomers really love to let me know that my tattoos are permanent. My favorite response to that is usually they duck in better be. I paid good money for them to be permanent. That my relatives believe that I won't make something of myself. But we know you will. Thanks. I will prove them all wrong sometime in the hopefully near future. I know my nephew robbed me. I can't prove it. Everyone blamed my nephew for stealing my dad's Rolex and university ring before he died. The ring was a unique one with a large red ruby. My mom and I both know it was my sister-in-law, as she suddenly had a lot of cash that week. My mom doesn't know I've known she's had a boyfriend for two years, even though she denies it. My weight cycling arm and mom who has been bragging about her recent practice of backquote intuitive eating, has in fact been on a zen pick for months. Thanks for the trauma asterisk a and d asterisk the bull poop, mum. People think I'm a clueless tits, but I'm really just socially anxious and keep conversations shallow and quick so I can escape into my cave. Rewiring your anxious brain 14s by Deborah Kisson, Ashley D. Kendall, Michelle Lazano and Mackay Arf did me some good. A friend of my wife and I got hooked on pain pills after a car accident. Turned flaky and flighty, as predicted. Moved away. Wife and I ran into her years later. I could tell she was still hooked. Wife thinks she's quirky. Your first sentence makes it sound like both you and the friend got hooked on pain pills. I thought that's what it meant until I read your comment haha. <laughs> That the reason for his divorce is not that he dumped his wife, but rather that she dumped him after their minor daughter accidentally found a video of him filming himself masturbating. Video of him filming himself. Just how many cameras were involved. I'm curious if there's behind the scenes footage. That I'm fat and that being fat is a risk factor for health problems. A lot of people seem to think they need to tell me that. Gosh, I had no idea. This brand new information is what will push me to change my entire lifestyle. Thank you, librarian. When I smoked I would ask my coworker, do you mind if I go have a cigarette? As a courtesy, I was her manager, so she couldn't really say no. I was just trying to be polite in asking her to watch the store for a few minutes. One day she was like I should say no. It's bad for you. No, really. It pissed me off. Obviously I know it's bad for me. From them on I stopped asking and just said I'm going to have a cigarette. That the guy I had been chatting to and getting to know fell for him big time. Actually has a long term girlfriend. 
I had the same experience about a year ago with the only difference being that she turned out to be married. I'm sorry that happened to you. I know how much it can hurt. I hope you're doing well or are at least moving in a direction that will allow you to begin doing well in the future. Last year I found out my parents have been lying to me about a bee that left me permanently disabled as a child due to extreme neglect. As in, they minimized it and told me a version of the story that painted themselves as innocent. Meanwhile I was still expected to be the perfect child at all times. My parents don't know that I know this, nor that I'm in the process of cutting contact. That I could hear my supervisor's phone call, even though it wasn't on speakerphone. It was loud. His mate rang him up and told him to chuck a sickie on Friday so they could go fishing. Sure enough he didn't turn up to work. Chuck a sickie. That's just ducking hilarious. The fact that one of my friends tried to hook up with my wife when we started dating. The same friend who set us up on our first date. According to my wife, it was more than once. That's kinda ducking wild. Not much of a friend. That my mom's a drug addict and has been since probably before I was born. She's been high functioning for most of my adult life, but her constant sketchy behavior, poor money management skills, and attitude towards most things are a dead giveaway. So relatable. It's almost relieving that it's drugs and not just normal functioning. But the denial is insane. Everybody knows and she still plays innocent SMH. I know he has been sleeping with students for years. I know that he hits on former students in bars. I know he has told students that he knows what he can get away with because he's been around the block enough times. I teach across the hall from him. I'd be surprised if he even knows my name. But I will keep building my case. And eventually I will ruin his life. Don't take too long. In the meanwhile, he is continuing to take advantage of students. My dad used to drink a lot more than he would admit to. He would try and pretend that he would just have a glass of wine at the end of the day. But my brother and I would find bottles of vodka hidden in the bushes. In his filing cabinet. In the back seat of his truck. Never called him out on it. Cause he could never call us out on stealing his vodka when it wasn't his lol one night he woke me and my brother up at 3am to listen to a podcast he was listening to about lizard people and thought it was like Japan attacking Pearl Harbor. He was obviously drunk. Hatter I think he quit but I haven't been over there to see for myself in some time. My ex-girlfriend stepbrother raped her when she was drunk a couple years before we started dating. And he was oblivious that I knew. She begged me to promise to not say anything. So I never did. It felt wrong letting it slide. But if it ever got out I was scared she would hurt herself. We've been separated for 3 years now for unrelated reasons. But I ran into the stepbrother. And saw his parents across from the bar and part of me wanted to drop the bombshell on them but never did. I'm glad you put your anger aside for her well-being. Not only could she hurt herself. But he could hurt her too. As much as I believe rapists and their identity should come to light, the victim's safety is important too. Edit. Life to light. That I was my husband's first. How do you know? My French speaking colleagues don't know I always understand what they are saying. Because I learned as a child mostly from books and my French has second language mother. So my accent is terrible and embarrassing so I avoid infringing on their French language mini club. Though I can read and listen and comprehend just fine. Mostly everyone at my place of work thinks I can't do my job without help. Because the manager is always at my station. The reason is because she feels comfortable talking to me because I look her in the eyes and not her tits. Username checks out. How to do my job. I'm a female youth soccer referee. Have a big reputation of being very professional and good at what I do. Have refed some of the highest level games you can get at my age. Still. The old men I ref with still seem to need to mansplain to me how to do my job before they've even seen me do it. 
I'm automatically underestimated, just because I'm a girl, and it seems like I have less authority, that a 6 feet 3 inches old man who surely has years more experience than I do. There was a video that went viral recently of a LPGA winner practicing at a driving range, and some random nobody comes up to her trying to tell her how to swing. How she didn't go thanks to poop, but I guarantee I'm better than you takes willpower I do not possess. Bro, you actually watched the whole video, I'd give you a high five if I was a human. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more great content. See you next time.